Hello everybody, here is the long-weighted potting guide. I'm going to start with the black bow, then I'll proceed with the pink, with the blue, with some reds, but on the black you're gonna understand most of the shots which you can replicate on other places on the, on the table. So first is a straight black, here there is not much to talk about it. Um, unless you want to use side spin, let's say screw back side spin to open the angle from the cushion a little bit, then you just have to be on the line. I'm going to talk about that shot with the screw back side a little bit later. We're going to proceed with the almost straight black. Okay, so this is 7 8 this is not a 3 quarter bow, this is 7 8 how I like to call it. And this is almost straight black. So if you want to play top spin shot, here you have to aim at the middle of the cue ball. Middle of the cue ball, top spin. It doesn't matter slow, medium pace or hard. I'll do the shot with medium pace. So middle on the way, there is no left to right spin. I just check my line. I'm trying to see where is my cue pointing on the black ball. So I check my line and then I do my, my cue action. So there's the top spin medium pace, middle, middle on the white, because that's um, almost straight shot. Here the same shot on the black, but now I'm going to play with stun run. And because it's stun run, you might use just a fraction of side spin, because there is a little bit of throw, a little bit of that squeeze effect. Even on 7 8 shot, go back on the potting secret video and you're gonna see that there is deflection on this shot. So on this shot, I'm using literally one millimeter side spin. It's almost invisible. If it's a stun run, now I'm going to show you the stun run shot. Now here I'm just, just fraction off center, just just millimeter off center on the white. And this is a stun run shot. I use the, the side spin to cancel the throw. Even on this almost straight shot, there is a little bit of throw on stun run and stun shot. I'm going to play the stun shot again with just, just fraction side spin, just millimeter. almost invisible side. You're gonna see it on the, um, with that cue ball on the screen, where I'm aiming here on, on the white. Now if I, if I play stun screw, again on this 7 8 shot, I'm going to use literally one millimeter right hand side spin. This is the stun screw now. Again, that was <clears throat> just millimeter side spin. If I screw back, again, I'm using millimeter, literally one millimeter right hand side spin. And the idea of that side spin, just millimeter, is not only to cancel the throw, but to guarantee yourself that you're not gonna hit left hand side spin. Because now watch, if I'm aiming at the middle of the cue ball, I might hit perfect middle, but if I twitch a little bit to the right, I'm going to hit a little bit right hand side spin. And this is, this is good, because the right hand side spin in that case is helping side. But what's going to happen if I twitch to the left and I put a little bit of left hand side spin? This is the check side. This is the opposite side spin. This is not helping side spin. And then you're going to miss the pot. So that's why you aim millimeter right hand side spin. So if you twitch to the left, you're going to hit the middle of the white. And in that case, the middle of the white is going to be okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. So now I'm going to show you the backspin shot 
with a um, millimeter right hand side spin, just millimeter. I repeat that millimeter many times because usually when I say millimeter, players they overdo it and they apply too much side. So now that was just millimeter right hand side spin with the screw back shot. Here I move to the three quarter bow block, low on the block, three quarter bow. Here, many times we have to play slowly. Let's say you have to play slow, just run through very slowly. You cannot afford to play side when you play very slow because the cue ball is going to swerve a little bit. Um, so here you just try to drop the black ball in. What actually happens, you're going to overcut the black but slightly just here on the pocket just on the left side on the pocket many players are doing this subconsciously and it's not a problem for them so if you have to play slow top spin there is going to be a little bit of drag a little bit of that squeeze and throw name it however you want but here because it's very slow you cannot afford to play side spin so you actually overcut the black ball a little bit, just, just a fraction. You might not recognize this. So I'm at the middle of the cue ball, no side spin here, and I just drop it in. What I did, actually I overcut the black a little bit. I can see it, I can recognize it. I was aiming here, but because it's very slow, the cue ball squeezes the black a little bit. And then, um, and then you get it in the middle of the pocket. So now if you play same black, three-quarter ball black, top spin medium pace, there is no throw. Because when it's medium pace, there is no throw. And now you don't have to, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> you don't have to do anything. You don't have to overcut the black, you play for the middle of the pocket. What I'm going to do is, I will just apply insurance side spin, insurance one millimeter right hand side spin, just to ensure that I'm not going to hit left on the cue ball. So that's going to be top spin, just millimeter right hand side spin, not more, just millimeter, and now medium pace. Okay, this is. This is probably the easiest shot, not probably, this is the easiest shot to put the black. Next shot is much more interesting. Next shot is going to be the, the stun run. Now this is three quarter ball black. And if you play soft stun run, which is very common shot here on the black. Here um, you have to apply nice amount of side spin. So I will go more than one millimeter side spin. It's difficult to explain how much exactly because it's, it becomes, at some point it becomes more of a feel. It becomes more of just knowing how much is that side spin and different cues, different tips, different shape of tips are reacting differently on the cue ball. So you have to find it for yourself. You have to find that good contact between the cue ball and the black ball. So the stun run here, is going to be, especially soft stand run. Now I'm kind of half tip to the right. It's not one millimeter anymore. It's a little bit more than this. So that was half, milli, half tip, kind of, on the right hand side on the cue ball. And this is the, the soft stand run. If you play hard stand run, and because the pace is higher, the throw is less. The higher the pace is, the throw is less, With said with simple words. And when you play too hard, then using side spin can push the cue ball offline. So if I'm playing hard stand run, I'm not going to be so much to the right on the cue ball. I'll be just one millimeter. So now this is a stand run. I'm just one millimeter off center, just to ensure that I'm not going to hit left. And now this is going to be hard stun run. So harder shots usually 
you use less side. Now let's proceed with the stun shot. The most drag, the most squeeze is on the stun shot, especially if it's slow. So I'm going to use more than one millimeter side spin. Again, pretty much like the stun run. So this is going to be around half tip side spin to cancel the throw and to make good contact with the black. So this is soft stun, nice amount of side spin. I'm kind of half tip to the right on the cue ball. This is the slow stun, the soft stun shot, kind of half tip to the right to cancel the throw. Now if it's a hard stun, then you play with less side, just fraction less side because the shot is too hard. You don't want the cue ball to be pushed offline. So this is this is hard stun, or actually even a little bit of screw back into it. I used less side. Now let's see the screw backs. Soft screw back again is gonna be with side spin. I'm going to use <clears throat> again nice amount of side spin on the soft screw back. Again this is going to be half tip. So this is the soft screw. I'm using good amount of side because the shot is soft there is throw and you need side spin to cancel the throw. If I'm going to use more power, lots of power in the screw back, then I will use less side spin. Now this is going to be hard screw back, lots of power and I'm using just a little bit, just millimeter on the cue ball. So this is the hard screw back shot. So everybody, this is the first part of the potting guide on the black ball. You've got the almost straight shots and the three quarter ball shot. Um, the video is becoming a bit too long. So next Sunday, expect the second part of the potting guide on the black. I'm going to proceed with the half balls, which are the most important on the black. Thin cuts and then we're going to proceed with the high blacks they're very important because high blacks is the best shot on the table and in the potting gun guide as well you're gonna see um, some cue ball control examples from the high black.